Today we're continuing our journey of leaf level insights and data driven solutions. Now, if you haven't seen the first episode of this, go back and watch that and then come back to this one. Don't worry, I'll still be here. All right, you're back? Awesome. I'm Tyler Tobald. Welcome back to JTAC Farms. Today marks episode two. We're gonna talk about final stand count and weeds. And we have some illuminating things to talk about in regards to weeds because we figured out why we have such bad weed pressure in this West File field. However, we're gonna save the best for last there. We're gonna talk about stand count first. And over here on West Files, things are looking a little rosier, 96%. That's a much better number than the last one. However, there is a little bit of context that we need to include with it. Some of that 96% is just, you know, normal corn up and growing, looks nice. However, some of that also includes these little guys who popped up later and I highly doubt that plant will do much for us. For the most part though, we've got some really good shots, some really good stand counts. I'm a lot happier with what I'm seeing on this. Now you're still gonna notice some doubles, some skips, stuff like that, but not a lot I can do about that now. That's something that's gonna have to get figured out for next year. Now we're done with the appetizer, let's get to the main course. Weed count. And uh, well, if you look at this, you're probably gonna have a heart attack because that's all red, that looks bad. Well, don't worry, it's not quite as bad as it seems. Let's take a closer look. Enhance. Enhance. Yes, I know, I'm dragging out the full story of why the weed pressure was so bad here. That's on purpose, I'm trying to get you to stay to the end. So we've got unidentified broad leaves. We've got grasses. Yeah, there's a lot out here. Let's take a little closer look though. Enhance. Enhance. Just print the damn thing. For those of you who are familiar with herbicide damage to weeds, you'll see that those pretty much just got sprayed, probably the day before it got flown. So technically, yes, they were still alive. However, they're not now. They're little crispy critters now. The good folks over at Central Valley Ag put together quite the mixture for this and the corn's doing just fine and the weeds are nice and clean now. But why was this field so weedy to begin with? I know, I keep teasing you. Fine, 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 we'll get into it. So the reason the weeds were so bad in this field and the reason why the herbicide burn down did not terminate all the weeds out here is because, well, um, yep, whoops, I am not perfect. So, ergo, I do not expect perfection from people I deal with. We are human, we are fallible, mistakes happen. However, this was corrected quite well, I might add. As you can see, everything is pretty clean and all the weeds are good and crispy. At the end of the day, the situation was rectified and that's all that matters. The field is clean, the corn is healthy and happy, so I'm happy. Well, that about wraps it up for West Files. Let's take a quick look at the file hill. Stand count, much better. Weeds, still pretty low, but Gonna need to keep a close eye on it because I have a feeling a post is gonna be coming up pretty soon. Myself, personally, I'm a big fan of the second flight because knowing the final stand count, knowing exactly what's out here, well, that comes in handy later on in season. You know, if we get closer to harvest, I can maybe start doing some better math and figuring out maybe potential yields. And having a good idea of what kind of weed pressure you're starting to see and be able to start planning ahead for that, that's also quite helpful too. 
But as much as I like flight number two, I really, really like flight number three. Because next time we're gonna be talking all things weeds, insects, nutrient deficiencies, and disease pressure. We are going to be getting an up close and personal look at all of our plants and seeing what we can do better and what mother nature is trying to do to stymie us while we're trying to grow a crop. Hope to see you back then and as always, thanks for stopping by.